Hello, everyone. This is Marcia Jones, and this is Next Level NP Podcast. So today we're going to talk a little bit about hormone management, of course. Um, so with Next Level NP, what I'm trying to do, what my intention is, is to bring information to other nurse practitioners um, about hormone management, hormone balance, um, cancer prevention, all things that are going to help you in your practice. Um, I focus primarily on female health and helping them balance their hormones and prevent cancer because cancer is the number one cause of death right now in the United States and hormone-related cancers are the number one cause of cancer with breast cancer being the number one cancer. So there's definitely a lot going on right now and we have to be on our game. We have to be at the beginning of this new revolution, evolution, what do, what do we call that? Um, the, the new standard of care is going to turn to being able to manage hormones. You know that we're always a little bit behind with the research and we're a little behind with our protocols and the things that um, we are asked to do for our patients, um, you know, through a lot of the health organizations. But it is important that you understand what is happening now and you know what to look for and you start to see the signs and you know what you can do in your practice, no matter what type of practice it is, to help your patients. So I'm focusing on female and I do focus on a functional medicine basis um, because I feel that it requires the whole body to be looked at and to be managed, but we can't forget that you do need other things. Um, you're not going to start off right away with just telling someone how to uh, get more soy products in and how to balance their nutrition and get all of the phytonutrients that are going to make the mitochondria work better and to decrease the insulin levels. That's part of it. But when you're talking to a patient who is desperate for help, especially in a hormonal imbalanced state, uh, they want something that's going to help them sooner than later while they're putting all of the pieces together. So one of the big things that we are facing right now is stress. Stress leads to adrenal fatigue. Adrenal fatigue leads to hormone imbalance because your adrenals are where you need to start because they are one of those hormones, uh, they produce hormones that are able to make other hormones and uh, it's required for homeostasis. Uh, fight or flight response, we know what that is. And so we need to look at that. The adrenals are going to save your life first. They could care less about your thyroid and your metabolism. They could care less about your estrogen and your testosterone and your progesterone. When it is fight or flight and your body thinks that it is doing what it has to do to maintain life, that's what comes first. So that's what we're going to address first. And so the subject of the day is pregnenolone because pregnenolone is one of these amazing hormone replacements, uh, supplements that we can use to help our patients feel better. It's going to take about, about four to six weeks to really start to notice it. And it works even better if you can start to work on mindfulness, nutrition, um, you know, meditation, and helping them with being able to step back from the world and just kind of take a deep breath and know how to reset themselves uh, because that of course is going to help with adrenal fatigue that is going to help with homeostasis and hormone balance but when we're looking at what else can we do for them right now that's not a pharmaceutical agent that is something that is natural that your body can work to make into what it needs to make it into then we're going to use pregnenolone because it's going to repair the adrenals first it is a precursor to other hormones so your pregnenolone has to be in check for you to make testosterone, for you to make your cortisol, for you to make DHEA, uh, estrogen, progesterone, all of these things require the starting point of pregnenolone. So when I am looking at my hormone levels with patients who might be a little upset about the thought of starting with hormones or be on the edge with that, I talk to them about pregnenolone. Because if we are worried about cancer, which many people are, um, or you have a family history or you're starting to weigh the risks and the benefits and maybe you don't really want to um, you know, rock the boat just yet with other providers who aren't on board with hormone replacement therapy, um, start to think about pregnenolone because estrogen is very controversial and your patients may not want to start with an estrogen therapy, but there is estrogen receptors in the gut and the brain and the bone. You know, estrogen does lots of great things for us, but also so does testosterone and progesterone. If you've listened to any of my lectures on, you know, the hormones of cancer, 
the webinars that I have out there, um, then you'll know why each one is important and why we need balance. But we can't even start with managing those until we've managed the adrenals and we've started to put our nutrition back into place. So that is why um, pregnenolone is so important. It's actually one of my go-tos, my first lines in my hormone practice. And I do all types of things. I do patches, I do creams, I do pellets. Um, I do all types of hormone management, but I want to start with this one first and kind of let the body do the rest. Let the body do what it can do on its own whenever possible because you want to encourage homeostasis. You want to encourage natural processes before you start doing any types of prescriptions or, or other types of uh, therapies. Um, and like I said, something that's going to help everything and make you feel better all around is always better than trying to just target one thing. You should never try to just target one area. You should always think of the whole person, the whole body, and look into the things that might be causing some of the concerns that are happening. So with pregnenolone, um, like I said, this is one that if you're talking to a patient who you know is stressed to the max and you're like, oh lordy, um, this person just can't catch a break. It's been going on for a couple of years. They're completely out of steam and you know that they have no reserve left. Give them some pregnenolone. Um, I like Designs for Health because Designs for Health has an extended release pregnenolone. Um, you know that they uh, stand behind their products, that they are natural, they don't have a lot of fillers in them, um, that they're good quality products. And so this extended release pregnenolone, you can give in the morning um, and, and that way, and if it's, you don't have to take it like two or three times a day, like you would have to do with just a standard released pregnenolone and it, it will work with, you know, natural cycles. I give it in the morning because, you know, it is a steroid type uh, supporter. So it can, you know, bump you up a little bit. Uh, if you're sensitive to things that might make you a little bit jittery or alert, very alert, we, we don't want to do that at bedtime. So I do my pregnenolone. I give that to my patients in the morning. Um, and what it does is since it's a precursor to DHEA and estrogen, estradiol and testosterone, it will kind of send it down the path to whichever thing is needed in the here and the now. And once the patient starts to feel that energy boost, that shift, and you're monitoring their levels, which you can get my um, hormone, female hormone lab panel um, link, it's um, marshajonesmp.com backslash female hormone panel, um, or you can get the link in the show notes. It's all, it's that easy also. Uh, you can also go on to marshajonesmp.com, which is where I have the video that I'm recording right now along with the podcast, and you can find the link there. So um, anyway, the uh, the hormone panel, check that, check the hormones, see if they're coming into place, see if your patient is feeling better because pregnenolone would really help for sleep. It helps for energy. It helps for mood boosting. It helps to de-stress. And then it starts boosting your sex hormones and your libido and all the uh, other things that go along with hormone health and hormone balance. Um, one of the things that you do need uh, when you're replacing hormones, especially one that's a cortisol-based, uh, when you're starting to balance those out, is cholesterol. You want to make sure that you're looking at cholesterol levels because current standard treatments is we're trying to drive these LDL levels all the way down to 70, which personally I think is too low. Um, around 100 uh, is where I stick with patients. I don't want them to be over the top, but I don't get excited if it's around 100, 120, um, because we need cholesterol to make our hormones. We need it to make our DHEA. We need it to make uh, testosterone and estrogen and then to balance everything out. Our brain thrives off of cholesterol. So it'll also help with your, your moods and your energy and your cognitive function if you're able to get good, healthy cholesterols in there. And that's not eating a cheeseburger. That's using things like avocado, chia seeds, flax seeds, um, and salmon to get your omegas in there so that you have good, healthy cholesterols that help you to make these hormones and to produce them so um, they're there with what you need to increase your vitality and make you feel better. So pregnenolone is a really, really nice way to start and that can help ease a lot of the anxieties and the, the struggles that patients may have with doing hormone replacement therapy. And it'll ease them in. So if they're starting to feel better, but their numbers aren't coming quite up to where you want them, or you know, there's still some other concerns, depression, anxiety, um, you know, mood, um, cognitive function, you know, that brain fog, then you can start looking at other ways to improve individual hormones. But that's that's a whole different conversation. Um, so 
with pregnenolone, like I said, I, I use this. It, it The extended release will last for about 10 to 12 hours. So if you use this and use it in the morning, it's going to help them to feel um, boosted throughout the day. Uh, so it's one of those amazing all-around type of re supplements that you can work with. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure that your patients are getting a good, healthy, nutritional diet that is filled with things like um, uh, fruits and vegetables for all the phytonutrients because your phytonutrients help to make your mitochondria work and you also help to lower insulin levels by making sure you get good fiber uh, which supports hormone balance and elimination. Um, all of these things are part of that package. So you have to explain to your patients that, you know, when you're using the pregnenolone, they're going to feel better and it's going to help to balance things. But there's a lot more to do and to keep working with you closely because once you've gotten one thing into alignment and they're starting to feel better, then you can move on to the next step and start doing things like, you know, exercise, meditation, uh, working on their nutrition. So it's always a step. It's always a balance. You want to meet the patient where they are and you want to help them uh, to, you know, have success by doing building blocks. And that's going to make you that next level pro provider, that next level MP that actually listens and looks at the big picture and asks things about their stress levels, about their work schedules, about their sleep, about their nutrition but you can't do it all at once you've got to do one thing at a time and especially if someone is trying to lose a lot of weight they may be um, lacking in their nutrition and that may be causing their hormone imbalance because a lot of your patients right now are doing weight management and they're not getting the things that they need uh, because they are using the semaglutide product and some of the other products that are decreasing their appetite to the point that they're they're lacking in nutrition because they're just focused on weight loss instead of nutrition um, but that's a that's you know my take on on that I like whole balance but you could also tell them that by balancing their hormones they are going to start to lose weight and build their bone mass sleep better and they they don't have to worry about whether or not that semaglutide is available to them whether insurance is covering it but this is a much cheaper option that's going to make them healthier all the way around so that is my spiel on pregnant alone I hope that was helpful and I hope that's something that you can offer your patients comfortably with, um, without feeling like you're jeopardizing uh, their safety and you're, you're giving them hope and you're giving them balance. And then you can continue to work with them. So if this is something that you love and that you're, you're interested in is doing these hormones, I do encourage you to um, look into my course, The Hormones of Cancer for Nurse Practitioners, because that is where I go into all things hormone. I go into the big picture of how to manage them uh, from their nutrition status to their stress levels to uh, exercise elimination, all of the things from a functional medicine standpoint. I even go into how to start a practice um, if you want to do this as a niche practice, niche practice. Just how do you say that? Um, if that's something that you want to get into, because when you start managing hormones, you start saving lives. Um, also, I would like to encourage you to check out the Next Level NP Facebook group uh, that I have because I'm going to be doing some live um, masterminds in that group. All you need to be is a nurse practitioner to sign up in there. It's totally free. Um, I'm going to do a mastermind soon um, next week, actually, on starting your own practice, helping you to start a successful practice. And then uh, there's going to be another mastermind following that on some of the hormones of cancer. I have lots of things coming at you, and I want to help to encourage you um, to build your practice and take things to the next level and to help as many patients as possible. So you can find information on all of those things at MarciaJonesNP.com. Um, and like I said, go to that Next Level NP Facebook group. Please sign up for that. Um, it's still very small. I'm not going to lie. It's still a very small group because we're getting built. We're getting started. But this is where I want to encourage you to get in there and to learn. It's totally free and you can learn more about my courses um, and my consultations so if it's something you want to do I actually have it's the nurse practitioner success blueprint well I will walk you through this um, if you want to do hormones I'm going to help you with not just the business aspect of things but your clinical aspect also I don't know too many coaching and consulting programs that do that but I have done plenty of both I've been with business coach. I've taken multiple courses and I would always wanted to 
to have one that would put it all together because you can take the course but then what happens when you have questions and if you're doing a practice by yourself um, you may not have a lot of support and if you're going out into a niche practice you might be getting you know some flack from some other of your colleagues and maybe there just isn't someone that you want to talk to either because you're afraid that they're going to either try to steal your ideas or they're not going to be supportive or you're you're still getting your feet wet and you want to just have that that resource that's right there to answer your questions for you and to help you out. That's what I do with my consulting um, program. And that's a six month consulting program with that. So I don't want to keep going into all those things. You know where to find me. You know where to look into that. But I hope that learning about Pregnenolone will help you. Um, and if you want to learn how to, you know, sign up for uh, some of these specialty groups like Designs for Health or Full Scripts, I can help you with all of that also. Check out the show notes. Check out the email that I send. Make sure you sign up for the NP newsletter so you don't miss any of these show notes. Uh, that is at, again, MarciaJonesNP.com. You guys take care. Thank you for listening. And I hope you have a wonderful day and take your practice to the next level as soon as you possibly can.